Alright, in this video I'm going to do some examples of solving rational equations. Um, in another video I talked about simplifying rational expressions and you can use those same techniques here but um, I think maybe there's a slightly easier way to do it. So in this case we have to solve the equation 6 over x squared minus 5 over x equals 1. And what you're going to do is basically probably the easiest way is to try to get rid of the fractions. And what you do is you look at the denominators of all the fractions. And you take the least common multiple of those things. So here our least common multiple of x and x squared is going to be x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by x squared. So I have 6 over x squared minus 5 over x equals 1. So I'm going to multiply the left side by x squared. You have to multiply the right side by x squared as well, my least common multiple. When I distribute it out, forget about the stuff at the bottom, there's my next example peeking through. Um, when you multiply this stuff out, the x squareds will cancel out, and then you'll be left with a 6 when you distribute. You'll have x squared over x, which will leave you minus 5x equal to x squared. And now this is just a quadratic equation. Okay, So I've got 6 minus 5x equals x squared. And with quadratic equations, remember the easiest way to usually do them is to set one side equal to 0. I'll make the left side 0. And then you try to factor it out. So I'll add the 5x to the right side. I'll subtract the 6 over. Excuse me. Yes, sorry. That looks okay. Um, I'll add the 5x and subtract the 6. And then I'll try to factor this out. And it looks like a way that would factor is we use x plus 6 and x minus 1. And then we simply set each piece equal to 0. So x plus 6 equal to 0 will give us the solution of x equals negative 6. x minus 1 equals 0 will give us the solution of x equals 1. And this is the thing you have to be careful about when you do these rational equations. You have to put the solutions back into the original expression, the original equation rather, and make sure that you're not dividing by 0. So notice if I plug negative 6 into the bottom of either fraction, it doesn't give me a 0. The same thing with a 1. If I, don't, if I plug 1 into the bottom of either fraction, it doesn't give me a 0. So those are, in fact, our solutions, negative 6 and positive 1. All right, so here's our next example here. 2 over x plus 2 plus 2 times x minus 4 equals 1. Well, in this case, our least common multiple is going to be x plus 2 times x minus 4. So I'm going to multiply both sides of our fraction by that. So I've got 2 over x plus 2 plus 2 over x minus 4 equals 1. So I'm going to multiply the left side by x plus 2. Let's see if I can squeeze it in here. x plus 2 times x minus 4. And then I have to multiply the right side as well by x plus 2 x minus 4. So sorry, it got kind of squeezed in there. But when I distribute this x plus 2, x minus 4 term, the x plus 2's will cancel, and that'll leave me with 2 times x minus 4 plus. Then when I distribute the x plus 2, x minus 4, the x minus 4's will cancel out, and that'll leave me with 2 times x plus 2. And on the right side, I'm going to have this quantity x plus 2 times x minus 4, and I'm going to go ahead and FOIL that out. I'll get x squared negative 2x minus 8 after I collect all my like terms. And I'm going to multiply out the left side. So I'll get 2x minus 8 plus 2x plus 4 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Again, this is a quadratic equation. I'm going to make the left side equal to 0 in this case. Notice if I add 2x and 2x, I'll get positive 4x. I'll have to subtract that from the right side, so I'll get negative 2x minus 4x will give me negative 6x. Notice on the left side as well, I have negative 8 plus 4, which is negative 4. If I add the, um, so to get rid of the negative 4, I'll have to add 4 to both sides. 
and if I add 4 to both sides I'll get a negative 4 on the right side so I think I didn't do anything crazy there so I've got positive 4x I'll subtract 4x and then I've got a negative 4 if I add 4 it looks okay um, and at this point this looks like a problem that's not gonna factor down so to figure out the solutions you could at this point use the quadratic equation or excuse me the quadratic formula and remember that says you have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and in this case our negative 6 is playing the role of negative b so we'll have negative negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is negative 4 all over 2 times a so this will give us positive 6 plus or minus the square root underneath it looks like we're going to get 36 plus 16 which is 52 over 2 and I would probably just leave my solutions like this I wouldn't really simplify it down any further so negative or excuse me positive 6 plus or minus the square root of 52 over 2 if you haven't seen the quadratic formula um, I've got some examples on my website as well using the quadratic formula to solve these equations and this is going to give you definitely not negative 2 and not positive 4 so these would both be solutions to the original equation so let's do one more so in this problem I have x plus 3 in the bottom 1 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x minus 3 equals 6 times x squared minus 9 and here the least common multiple of x plus 3 x minus 3 x squared minus 9 well if you factor x squared minus 9 you actually get x plus 3 x minus 3 and that's going to be my least common multiple that I'm going to multiply both sides by so I'll have 1 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x minus 3 equals 6 over x squared minus 9 so on the left side I'm going to actually write it out as x plus 3 x minus 3 just so I can see how things cancel nicely and on the right side instead of writing x plus 3 x minus 3 equivalently I'm going to write x squared minus 9 okay so when I multiply this out in the first term the x plus 3's will cancel and that'll leave me with x minus 3 on the second term the x minus 3's will cancel and that'll leave me with x plus 3 on the right side I'll simply have 6 um, when you add x plus x you get 2x 2x equals 6 and now if you divide both sides by 2 we'll get x equals 3 but notice now if we check the solution if we plug it back into the original okay if I plug 3 into the bottom of the first fraction it's fine it doesn't give me 0 but notice if I plug 3 either into the second term or the stuff on the right side of the equation I'm gonna get 0 in the bottom of my fraction actually in two places and if you get 0 even in the in in the bottom of one fraction these are what are called extraneous solutions so this original equation actually has no solutions so you have to be real careful on these rational equations that you go back whatever answers you get you need to go back and plug them into the original equation to make sure that you're not dividing by 0 so hope these videos help a few uh, kind of basic ones if you have any questions feel free to shoot me an email and I'll be happy to answer it as soon as I can